everybody. Welcome to the Orange Den Garage. This is Wyatt here. We're here with doing another review here at Gary Rome Kia here in Enfield, Connecticut. I'll leave all their information in the video below in the description as well for their website, phone numbers for sales and all that. But we're here to do another amazing review on another all new Kia that just came out. Brand new 2021 Kia Sorento. This one is gorgeous. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And also guys, if you could hit that like button and subscribe button, it helps out our channel a lot. It lets us get more exposure to everybody else out there. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of reviews, a lot, a lot of reviews in the next several months into the near future. Um, just looking forward to doing more. So make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe for future content. Let's go ahead and look at the all new 2021 Kia Sorento X-Line. Let's do it. All right, guys, so what do you think about the new Sorento? This is gorgeous. This paint, let me try to get a better view in the sun. I don't know if you guys have seen all that metallic, but finally, green is making a comeback. This is called a Ruba Green Metallic. This is the X-Line trim, the new, more like off-roady trim. They lifted the ride height, made it a lot more aggressive to be able to do trails and stuff. But this new Sorento is fantastic. The design language of Kia is so good. So you guys can see here, we have triple LED beams coming across, uh, nice LED um, running light coming down into the grill, just like how I, that K5, how I did. It has like a nice curve here, um, nice trim work going on. I love this, I love this new design language by Kia. Uh, if you guys can see coming along here, LED double fog light, just like the K5. Um, it has like a silvery color trim down there at the bottom. Uh, you also can see that this has a 360 camera, uh, six, 360 camera system, has a front forward facing camera. We got the Kia badge, beautiful tiger nose grill as uh, Kia's signature. I love this new design language, so cool. Uh, you can see like the, the hood is nice and scalloped. So nice, this paint has so much metallic. I love it. This, Man, if they, man, yeah, you're really speaking to me right now. But you guys can see here, it has a uh, nice, it just has a nice flow to design going all the way to the back. Um, it definitely looks, you can see the, the Telluride right there. You can see the Telluride um, resemblance. It's so great, it's, it's great. Telluride is a high seller. This Sorento is not gonna be anything short of that as well. Um, so we have 255, wow, 255, that's really wide. 255 series rubber, um, 45 20s. These are 20s, they're like a metallic gray, has a nice little center cap growing on. Very nice looking, um, as you guys can see, like I was saying, it has a little bit more of a ride height. Uh, that's the part of the X-Line trim. Um, so you guys get a little bit more ground clearance. Um, but overall, very nice. These are wrapped in Continentals. Uh, coming along the side here, we have X-Line badge. I like this little uh, added feature here. This is also metallic. This paint has so much metallic, it's hard to see that metallic, but <laughs> there's a metallic going on the trim too. It's so, so sharp. I like the uh, gloss black mirrors, give it a nice break up of the color. Uh, you guys can see here the signature Kia uh, glass with the nice um, indentation there on the windshield super nice uh you guys come down the side uh this one is pushed to start as well body colored match um door handles super 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 nice color wow aruba green metallic remember that if you guys are interested in this color uh it has like a nice uh trim piece coming along the bottom to deflect away from the paint like rocks and mud and stuff like that so you don't damage this beautiful paint color uh you come along the back I love this, um, like the trim comes around here. This is actually kind of like a bronzy color. It's not black, it's not gray, it's like a bronze going around the trim. Super, super cool. Uh, you guys also see that um, they kind of like made this look kind of pillarless here. I like that it just flows. Very nice flow to the design. Um, gas cap, door, come around the back. Uh, this is their new signature look for the Sorento with the dual um, tail light housing here. Super cool. I like it. It just, wow, it's so cool. So cool. So we have 
the, the turn signals and tail lights are up here. The reverse are down here with the uh, uh, reflector. We have a parking sensor system with four sensors coming around the bottom. You also see that the reverse uh, is implicated right here on this side as well. So it's a nice and balanced look. We have one single exhaust, exhaust outlet. Uh, the diffuser is in like a silvery tone. Very nice sharp edge here. Uh, you guys can also see that we have the SX Turbo GDI badge here. But I'll give you guys like a, a better look at the back. Very, very rugged. It reminds me of, it doesn't really remind me of anything. Like it just looks good. It looks like an SUV again, not just a, a crossover. It looks aggressive. I really like that. You guys can kind of see how wide the back is. The back end sticks out a little bit farther than the front track. Um, you guys come here. Take another look at the wheels. Very, very nice looking. Um, but yeah, overall, very good. We have a nice set of uh, luggage bars up here as well. You we also have panoramic sunroof. We'll take a look at that in the interior. You also have the XM uh, fin here, the tail fin for your radio. And it just, everything just flows beautifully. It's a beautiful design here. Um, Wow, so you guys can see there's a part of the 360 camera package as well underneath the mirror on both sides. It has the little cameras so you'll be able to see a lot of different angles around your vehicle uh, so you guys don't hit anything. But super nice, super nice. The other thing that's super cool about Kia is that they're like the only manufacturer that has two three row crossovers as we have the two twin, uh, the two siblings here, two three row crossovers in their lineup so you guys get a little bit of different you know you want the bigger tell you ride and get the bigger one if you want something a little smaller but still plenty plenty of space for um your family get a sorrento both look amazing um super cool i just want to show underneath the trunk the release is under here you guys can see the sorrento badge coming across the bottom that's a nice touch uh, super nice so tailgate but it says it's here oh it's so there's a little flap right there you guys can see that's what you gotta press to open it um we got the closed function here you can lock it lock the entire vehicle from the button here on the back it has a nice pull handle um yeah so you can see not a whole lot of storage space but you know do grocery shopping or whatever you can fold these seats down flat this one is a six passenger model so a nice little pull strap pulls it flat and you get plenty of cargo space so when you're doing big shopping and stuff like that it's fine um here's the, the floor mats it comes with carpeted floor mats but it's a nice flat floor um plenty of cargo you have cup holders back here storage compartment back here as well there's actually buttons for folding the middle row too so let's see how that works Oh, super cool, guys. Look at that. So you don't have to run around to the front to fold it up. And it just folds down flat. Super nice function. Um, you also can see that they thought about the rear passengers. Both sides get a USB port. Super cool to have that. Um, this one is a six passenger, like I was saying. You guys take a look underneath of the storage here. It has a nice storage bin. You have your jack. Uh, this one does have a, uh, a spare tire, so that's good. Wheel lock set, also a good piece. There's also got different little hooks to hold your items in place. If you have a cargo net or anything like that, there's also a hook here um, as well. And that's to hold your seatbelt in place up against, so you don't, if you don't want to have it dangling around. But overall, look at the interior, guys. Super cool, super cool angle here. I like it. Very nice looking. So let's go ahead and hop into the driver's seat and see how this closes. You guys see LED tails, super nice, super, super nice. All right, so we're about to hop into the driver's seat. All right, guys, so we're about to hop inside the all new Sorrento. Let's take a look at the door panel real quick. We got a uh, nice bolstering here. Similar to the K5 with its little hump here to give you some more of a grab handle to be able to close the door. 
Uh, you guys can see that they're all silver trim. Uh, they're all automatic down and automatic up. Same with the front windows as well. Automatic up and down. Super good feature. You have black trim coming across. Nice wood grain feel here. It's act it is textured. Very, very nice. I like it quite a bit. Uh, we have a storage pocket here, a bottle function. Super, super nice interior. We have a Bose audio system in this one as well. Uh, this is the X-Line trim, so you get that stuff. Uh, you take a look here. A Rupert Green, like I said, has a black interior. 2021. This gets 24 miles to the gallon combined. 21 city, 28 highway. So that's pretty good for an SUV. Um, this one has a 2.5 liter um, turbo engine with 311 pound feet of torque. That is impressive. This thing can fly. So super cool. Um, let's go ahead back into the interior. Like I was saying, you guys can see the seats are nice and padded. These are Napa leather here, quilted pattern. Nice. I love the uh, contrast stitching going on with the silver. Um, you guys take a look on this side. This is super cool. Everybody was talking about in the concept of the new Sorrento, the dual um, air vent system that they did in here. Super cool. Super little things like that just make cars unique. So, uh, as you see here, we have a door sill protector with a Sorrento in the bottom. We have forward and back uh, function, all these different functions going on. Just tilt your seat, the uh, lumbar support, and backwards and forwards. So, you guys see here, we have an all new dash here in the Sorrento. Gorgeous. Turn down the music here. Don't want to get copyrighted, guys. But as you can see, digital display completely. Oh my, it is gorgeous. You can change it. The little Sorrento comes up in the middle. Uh, digital speedo, digital, I mean, everything's digital. So you got the speedo, you got the tachometer, you have your uh, the degrees outside, miles per gallon, all that, your range left in your fuel tank. Super cool. Um, this has adaptive cruise control. It has all the safety features you need, like lane keep assist and stuff like that. So there's just so much that you could do with this Sorrento. Um, the wood trim comes across here in the bottom. It has paddle shifters in the back, back here on the wheel. All your functions, Bluetooth uh, as well, voice activated system, everything that you could possibly want this Sorrento has. Uh, you guys take a look over here. You have your trunk open function. Um, Lane keep assist, traction control buttons, your dimmer for your display. Um, everything that you could possibly need. This is leather wrapped steering wheel with stitching. Um, gloss black trim going on, some silver trim as well. You guys come across the middle here. Gorgeous all new display here. Um, see what you got like, all this is touch screen here so you can switch to the map. Whoa, it's massive. So. You can have it small, you can do like a split thing here, you can have it all. Like you have, like there's a big screen, you can have a little screen. You can, you mean you completely configure this. Um, here's the navigation menu. Uh, it has address book, point of interest categories. I love the font, the font is so cool. Um, all the like lit up blue here, point of interest categories, uh, places, anything you need for your nav, it's here. Uh, the radio button comes up. Um, that's a like look at how this system looks that is amazing so it has a lot of different um like presets here you do xm radio am fm whatever you need uh you have your media function here so these are the presets take a listen to the bows lively forest Tom Sea Waves. This system is great. Holy moly. Rainy Day. And many others. There's so many different ones. This is their new preset system that they have. You guys like ambient noise? You can just put this on. Got the warm fireplace. This is just super cool, like, stuff that's going on in here. So, let's go ahead and stop that for now. Just want to test out that system so you guys could hear it. Uh, this is HD radio. I mean, obviously you could tell the, the speakers are fantastic. Um, you have a digital display here for your climate controls, your different fan speeds, AC sync uh, for your dual climate control, um, 
everything's kind of like a touchscreen feel to it. Uh, piano black. Yeah, you get the fingerprints and stuff. Just wipe it off. It's it's fine. Um, we got like the silver trim coming around here with the dual uh, HVAC vents, like I was saying. Same thing over there. This is such a cool design. It feels rugged. This feels like it's rugged and ready to go for an adventure. Um, you guys see here, gloss black, nice hidden compartment. Push it, press it there to open, and it opens, and you have a charging USB, a USB connector to the media system, and then you have another charging USB. Plus, there's the wireless charger, and the wireless charger is down in there in that pocket. I hope you guys can make that out. Um, and there's still more storage there as well. So you also have three-stage heated seating and cooled seats. It lights up blue for cool, red for uh, heated on both sides in the front. Very nice comfort feature, of course, gorgeous. Uh, you have a traditional shift knob. Thank you, Kia, for keeping that. Um, it's just better. Uh, you have all your different drive modes. You got eco, comfort, sport, smart mode, and then a snow mode. And you just, it has a rear locking uh, differential, heated steering wheel, auto, hold for the brakes uh start stop system different cameras and a hill uh, assist feature also has an electronic parking brake which is good um so let's see if this camera thing shows up on there it does so you guys can see it has a 360 camera it has the rear view camera you can change the rear view taking a second here not sure what it's doing all right so now this one you can show actually both sides of the car and around so that's kind of cool that's different this is like a wide angle view oh it was actually in that mode already so this is the normal rear view camera and then there's an above to bottom view from the uh the rear as well super cool super functional uh helps you see what's around you make sure you're not running over any items or any pedestrians or anything like that you'll be able to see everything so I got the air conditioned seat running like I was saying this thing is cooling really cool quick uh, we got a storage pocket here another storage pocket two cup holders uh, we have a storage bin in here nice size glow um, armrest for your uh, any type of stuff you need to put in there you also have like a business card holder in here put any business cards you have if you own a business and then we have the glove box it has a nice deep feel to it definitely could fit good items in there overall this interior is fantastic i love it um kia's killing it again doing they're just doing this it's amazing this piano panoramic sunroof is massive it goes all the way behind the second row of seats which is cool even with that panoramic sunroof still get the pull handle for the driver pull handle for all four passengers on the front uh the doors section so you everybody gets you know all these these little amenities these mean something so uh let's see what else we got we got a light up here that has a button to turn on and off for your mirror both sides do this as well we have your lights for your your doors uh, if you wanted to be automatic when you open the door the light turns on you also have the uvo system all right headed into the back seat so i'm in my normal seating position up there so you guys see that I got plenty of leg room, I'm gonna hop in. I just wanted to show the, the door panel one more time here on the back. We've got padded uh, armrests here, nice stitching coming around. Uh, very nice looking door. We have a cup holder here, bottle holder here, Bose audio batch, very nice. We have the quilted seats in the back as well. Um, there's a button up here to fold the seat forward so you can get into the third row. I'm not gonna try it. I'm, I know I'm too big to get back there, but it's good for kids, so. This is good, nice slide function so that you can get your legs through this section into there. We just uh, slide it back. There's a pull handle in the front. It also reclines, so you can do this to recline that backwards. Um, you also have the button there to move it. So there's two different functions. So if you're in the back and you need to move the seat, you can do it from the top. And if you're in the middle and you wanna help somebody get out in the back, you can push it here too. Or you can, for kids to hit this button down at the bottom so they can get back there super smart thinking very very smart so the top in the back see how the room is all right so i'm six foot three like i've said headroom 
is with the shade open it's fine but i think with the shade closed i might be brushing it um overall it's very uh very comfortable seat headrests yeah this is good it's pretty good um leg room is kind of kind of short but also i'm really far back i can adjust that seat up there so i probably will fit back here fine but just wanted to hop back here and see how it is you guys see that it has the quilted pattern like i was saying on the seats it has um armrests here that are ratcheters ratchet uh to put into place but overall very nice place to be it has usb ports in the sides of the seats here it has dual vents back here that mimic the front we have a 12 volt there and also a another usb there's plenty of usbs there's two back there there's three in the middle there's several up in the front you can charge anything and everything that you need to charge without a problem i love the panoramic sunroof and gets nice light in here it's fantastic i'm i like this sorrento very nice um if you guys need something bigger there's a telluride for that but to have two options of three row options this is super cool and um if you guys tell i forgot to say that these are also captain's chairs and uh if you guys see there's a little storage mesh here you got the map pocket on that side and on this side as well so there's plenty of functionality plenty of room um the back seat's more for like kids or short trips for adults back there, but it's still functional. So let's go ahead and uh, check under the hood. All right, guys, so I opened up the hood now. This one um, is a prop rod holder here. Uh, this is a 2.5 liter uh, turbo charged motor that I was talking about. Uh, it's four cylinder, very powerful motor. I like the little carbon fiber trim that they did on this as well. Uh, you got your uh, your air filter, your battery, and your, where your fuses are, washer fluid, everything's easy to get to. Coolant, pretty sharp, pretty simple, um, easy to work on. It's a Kia, it's gonna last forever, guys. Let's go ahead and close this hood. All right, guys, so we're gonna get ready to do the driving dynamics now. Throw it on the seatbelt. Pull this across here. You guys like this uh, point of view uh, test drive? Let's go ahead and do this drive. We're about to leave the parking lot here at the Kia dealership, uh, Gary Rome Kia, like I've said, here in Enfield, Connecticut. Got it in drive here. Um, turn the camera system off, put the nav on. All right, let's go take a look at how this is. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about this. I don't know if you guys can see, but the. Uh, when you change the modes, it changes the screen on the center stack. Oh, that's cool. There's sport mode. Sport mode, it kind of like figures everything out, what you need, your throttle response, what you need. But we're just going to do our, uh, our normal comfort mode. So let's go ahead and take a ride out there and see how it is. We're in drive, nice steering wheel, like I've been saying. It's heated. Um, that's also very good. Wow, turning radius is great. Uh, man, these these SUVs with the turning radius are getting crazier and crazier. By, I mean, look at that. It, it just whips around with no problem. It drives like a car. That's what these crossovers are about. Driving like, having car-like dynamics. Um, it's, I mean, it's cool. The start-stop system is on. I felt it shut off. When I did that, this is the 2.5 liter turbo like i was saying wow it gets up and moves the one six that i drove in the k5 is quick but this is very quick um it has the paddle shifters like i said vision perfect nice open airy cabin super easy to see out of um the older sorrentos used to kind of feel a little more tight um from my experience a little bit more tighter in so to feel this more open air concept it's very very nice and um yeah this car is super quiet windows open sorry about that but now i have it closed super super quiet um good road feel it's not harsh it's not bumpy it's just smooth very smooth overall um let's get a little acceleration here it whoa <laughs> it's quick <laughs> it's quick um this is a nice package the x-line package for the sorrento if you guys are looking for a sorrento i highly recommend you check out the x-line 
Um, so you get the bigger motor, uh, higher suspension. Um, you get a lot of different options and it feels great. You, you guys can see, uh, I don't know if you heard that, but that's the lane keep assist. It, it can actually, it gauges um, not just highway, but it notices also um, like dotted lines, stuff like that. If you don't turn on the turn signal, like I just did, it won't, it won't, you know, it'll it'll get mad at you, basically. So, make sure you always use your signals. Um, yeah, but this is nice. This is really nice. There's one other function. I don't know if you saw it in the camera or not that I want to show you guys when I get out. Um, that is very unique to the Kia and uh, Kia and, and Hyundai. I think are both working on this new system. Uh, for when you turn on the turn signals, it shows like camera angles of where like your blind spots um, Honda did their lane watch thing before I don't know why they got rid of it But it only showed the passenger side and it was in the center stack here um, This one is in the stack in the, the gauge cluster in the middle So I'll show you guys how it goes and it shows both the driver's side and the passenger side um, But overall steering wheel feels great nice bolstering. It's nicely padded heated like I said this thing, <laughs> it moves guys, it moves. That 2.5 liter turbo is no joke. Like, man, wow. <laughs> what a beautiful machine this is. I love the sound of the engine too. For being a four cylinder, it sounds beefy, really beefy. Um, let's go ahead and do a turn where like I said we're really close to mass I mean that's probably less than a mile um, so if you guys are looking to buy a new Kia looking to buy a new Sorento or any other new Kia come check out Gary Rome Kia here in Enfield Connecticut um, really close to the mass border Springfield area obviously all the Connecticut and stuff like that so you guys are looking for a Kia it'll be easy for you guys to come to the dealer they have a lot of new inventory a lot of new products um, that are just coming out they have here at uh, Gary Rome Kia so i'd highly recommend you guys checking it out um and some uh you know normal little roads here uh residential streets see how it is bump your roads check out how the suspension is like i said like this one is meant to go kind of like on trails and stuff like that so i love the the ride height and position like the road is super you can see everything really easy i love i love that it feels like an suv still it feels smooth but still like an old suv like it has like the good combination of both worlds um the size of the sorrento is really good i like this um, remember that this car or suv competes with the compact class so when you're talking about the compact class it's a lot normally it's smaller than this uh it's normally a two-row crossover like a rav4 crv uh tucson that type of range uh class even uh kia's own um the sportage as well like it's kind of in that class it's in a tweener class that nobody is really touching other than kia um santa fe is kind of on the bigger side as well uh but they're all a part of the compact class um technically knowing that they're more like a mid-size it's like they're like right in between both so you get like all the mid-size SUV stuff in a compact class price bracket. So you get you get the a touch of like the upper class SUVs plus the touch um like the touch of that in a cheaper price like uh price range. And there's nothing cheap about this Sorrento. Everything is super supple, soft touch materials everywhere lots of colors lots of materials the wood feels good the wood trim um that feels good it has texture to it i love the the d-shaped door pulls i mean gorgeous i mean the dual um the dual climate control vents that i was talking about like there everything is fantastic about this um i really like that k5 and for twenty-eight thousand dollars, the K5 that I drove, the GT line was fantastic for that price point. And this one, uh, the X line of the Sorento, is around forty-four thousand dollars. Yes, that's a lot of money, but everybody is going up in price. Everybody is giving more in their products now. 
I mean, all these features that this vehicle has is what luxury car brands were doing, you know, 10 years ago. Plus, luxury car brands were doing it, but it wasn't as high quality as this. And this system looks, I mean, to me, looks as good as any system I've ever seen in any car. Um, high resolution screens, dual screens, um, different animations, different colors, different textures, fonts, all that. I mean, it has, it's not just a boring, there's nothing boring about it. It's always something nice to look at. Um, like when you're sitting still and obviously when you're driving, but you know, you want to keep your eyes on road when you're driving, but I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful setup. Um, the Bose audio system, like I was talking about before, sounds great, but it's really nice. These brakes work fantastic and it picks up quick. I, the sound of that four sounds good. I like it. I like it. I like the raspy noises of the four cylinder. All right, guys, so that concludes the review of the 2021 Kia Sorento X-Line in a Ruba Green Metallic. What an amazing SUV. I am highly, highly uh, impressed. Kia is doing such amazing things. I look forward to doing more Kia reviews very soon. Um, I just wanted to give a special shout out to Gary Rome Kia, like I said, here in Enfield, for, uh, Connecticut, for allowing me to do reviews on their vehicles of their dealership inventory, and I look forward to working with them more in the future. If you guys have any recommendations on any Kias you want to see or trim level, please leave a comment below. Um, make sure that you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. This is the Orange Gen Garage. I'm Wyatt. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, our reviews, our videos, everything like that. And make sure you just keep hitting that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we want to grow our family bigger to you know, be able to show more people our passion um, of loving cars. So I just want to say thank you guys. And uh, like we always do here at the Orange Gen Garage, we envision our dreams. Thank you and look forward to seeing you in the next review. Bye now. It's not a game, it's a red stick.